Okay, so we just finished Island 2. Picked up Bata. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. Yeah, we... No, I'm sorry. Island 3, wasn't it? How are we on the dirt? Our stuff here. We'll throw our extra stuff in storage so we don't have to carry it around. Let's so throw all that stuff in there. Oh, I'm gonna change her. Ring's already got scale mail, so you don't need that. No magic items yet. Talking for nerds. Obliterate, sure. Anyway, uh, let's see. We had a boss fight go through, which I missed. And Locust loves to get one shot. That's number seven on your bingo card, which you've already seen. So, starting a vote there for the repeat. And then after that's done, we will do another vote because Uzio did beat up on it. Why isn't it starting? There it goes. Okay. Okay. Let's start over again. Happy Sunday. Happy Monday. Thanks for coming out. Okay, so. Already done a couple islands. So we did there. We picked up Bata from that island. And this one, we picked up some more money. So now we're going to go down here. And oh, we're gonna, let's go to the right island here. We don't want to go to that one. We want to go to this one for extra experience. More experience. And then, of course, our cast of characters on this run so far. We've got... Uh, Ringa playing a um, shit. cavalier. Or sorry, start off with one level of cavalier beast rider to pick up a mammoth as a pet so that, you, that she can ride or he can ride. Um, and the mad and the mastodon's name is Madstodon. <laughs> that's Ring there, the half orc, and just picked up a uh, level one of Oracle. So that's what uh, I don't know Ring's exactly doing there, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then we have Bata as a monk slash uh, mutation warrior. Right? Yeah, traditional monk and a mutation warrior. Gonna be dual wielding. Oh, we've, we haven't picked up any hammers yet, so have to keep going the monk route for now until we can pick up some hammers. And then last but not least, we have Gimpy or Gimpet. The blood kineticist. This is a date. This is a test character for my next uh, campaign in Pathfinder, just to see what uh, the blood kineticist. See if it's actually been fixed yet. So we'll see. Anyway, through the island, and you two already set that up. Okay, so we're good. Dun -dun. And that vote just finished, so another vote. Go to your back to your bingo cards, click a number, and good luck. Cabolds. I don't think we've seen Cabolds yet. The In any of our runs. I don't think we've seen them. Forwards. Watch each other. I mean, they like to blow up, but I don't think we've seen them before. plan yeah they don't survive very long because they're a whole whopping what level one six hit points so easy to kill that's the dawn you know can't charge we can kill it still or miss whatever roll those ones happy ones day this will hurt outside of battle or rings range I want to call you Bata because Bata ran the. Did Bata have that portrait last time? <laughs> Bata's usually in that one, so. Yay, tax opportunity. Completed. So, yet another Barding. Down um, another cabal over there, another one over there. Our yeah. victory is certain. Attack. Miss Boo. Oh, an alchemist cabal. 
that's, I'm sure, safe. Tripped him. And he's the five, rolls the two. Get him better. Aim carefully. He survived that? Holy shit. How do you. What level is this thing? Level 3 alchemist with 26 hit points. That's how we survived that thing. Hmm. Trap. Don't hold back! Wow. Crazy bolts. Done. Crossbow potions stuff. Focus on the gold. Okay. Drink a potion. Good enough for now. Oh, I forgot to meet these guys. As it should be. Okay, just working our way through the island. And look, another one. A ghost whisperer. Let us bide our time. Let's make him a whisper whisperer. Aha, a test of my abilities. Okay then. So he took 11 points, so another 26 hit point one. So, it's a sorcerer. Scare? Oh, that's not good. So, Gimpet is scared. Running the wrong way. A calculated risk. Nice miss. Nice miss. Cause fear. So saving throw succeeded. You should have run. Punch him harder. This should do it. Come on. 50 50 chance. He likes the fear. Saving throw failed that this time. Will hurt. Oh, come on. Don't get too close. No, that can't get close enough. Let's try this way. And by Mad Madstadon. Don't hold back. Ah, oh, the fear spell. That is not far. Save there and just up here. Uh oh, we're suffering from encumbrance. That's all I need him, no big deal. So, ring. Breastplate? Better than scale mail. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. 
Okay, I'll set it. Didn't even see him. So fear didn't work. A solid plan. That didn't work either. Get a mastodon. No trip. Trip down. Should we just stand all around him? So when he stands up, he gets smacked. Just like that. You have to crit for 21. Ring did. Okay, let me go back down this way. They sleep all the time? Uh, so far they are. They like sleeping, Jeff. They're good at it. They're professionals. Look, there's a body in the murk there. Yummy. What a find. Bolts and sit for the trap. Well, that wasn't horrible, but whatever. I didn't think she was going to step on it. All according to plan. Impossible! <sighs> Unpossible. It's not impossible, it's impossible. Hello, everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube Attack. where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Sunday, happy Monday. No charging. He's just regular Cabal, right? Yeah. Battle. Strike. Crit for six. Boom. Ah, oh, Mrs. Gippy's home. Oh, what the hell? <sighs> Aim carefully. Was not paying attention. Ow. Was not paying attention at all. I was watching the dog cam as I was clicking on stuff. That was a good thing, right? Tripped the cabal. Didn't kill him. Tripped him. You should have run. This will hurt. Don't hold back! Step away. Blast that Forward. one. Nice miss. This will hurt. Ta -da, dead cabals. Okay, dog cam does need to go away. Because there's no point to watching that. Stuff. I 
masterwork trident greatsword. You know what's funny? Well, it's not bad. Uh, it does more damage. <laughs> Get a better chance to hit it with his fist, though. Eh, he's a great sword for a little bit. Okay, so let's go over to the left or east. Is that right? East and yeah, east. I'll go ahead. We should move. Enemy approaching. Damn it. A calculated risk. This should do it. Well, that one ran a long way just to die. A solid plan. Or not. Strike! Great sword works. Great sword works great for now. Don't get engaged in melee. Gives a gimp a better chance to hit right now. Attack. Just like that. Something I think maybe or is a background noise. Interesting. Interesting. It's a trap. As it should be. Done. The loot. That's the way out. And anything over here? It looks fairly empty, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's get out of here and move on. So this is gonna be extra experience? 750 experience, so. Take all that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna throw a bunch of junk in here. Thought that was a side, but it's a trident, so don't worry about that. Armor. A lot of armor carrying around. Just throwing all this stuff in the storage so we don't have to worry about weight. I guess we don't really need the scrolls either because we don't have anybody that can use them. Oh, wait, no. Rin can use stuff. I forget about that. An oracle now. Oh, we leveled up again. Ring, are you awake? 
Ring song, are you awake? We leveled up, we're level three. We're moving up in the world. Let's see if Ring wakes up or not. I can do this in the meantime. Barely awake? Okay. Time's not Oracle again, okay. Like the Jeffersons? Uh, maybe? Weapon focus, uh, bow shark? Or something else? Focus faux shard, okay. You sound so sure. <laughs> okay, so faux shard. Focus. That's it. New spell is feather step. Okay, and Matt's Madstadon. What feat would you like for your Madstadon? You don't remember the opening credits of the song we went up? I do. Something about uh, beans don't fry on the grill. Point of intelligence at level four. Okay, we're at only at level three. Not frying the kitchen and peas, not. I thought it was beans burning on the grill. It, but is it peas? I always thought it was beans. Dodge. Now we can go to, to get at the blood kineticist. So, trickery, perception, and arcane. Yeah, I always thought it was beans. And precise shot for shooting stuff engaged in combat and melee. Neither does really what they sure beans burn. What P oh, yeah, neither one does be burn on the grill. Peas or beans, peas nor beans burn on the grill. So, extended range can have to play pushing infusion. Uh, Extended range. It's time to act. Okay, and then for Bata, we'll stick to the fighter stuff. Mutation warrior. Oh, he doesn't get his mutages until level three. There's a whole lot of trying to get up that hill. It did. It was a very steep hill. The peas are also legumes. They are legumes. Uh, light weapon. Oh, we're using light weapons. Point blank shot. No. Reflexes. Dazzling display, deflect arrows, deft hands, dodge. Echoes of stone. Plus four perception checks and plus two bonus on initiative rolls. Underground. Hmm. Two weapon fighting? It was that an op that wasn't an option, was it? it should be. Yeah. 
guess we should do that. Yeah, I found it. It was at the end of the list. I had a bonus combat feat. Uh, combat reflexes, crushing blow. Oh, that's a month thing. Um, dodge, double slice. Oh, that might work. We're not there yet. Maybe. Uh, shield bash, shield focus, stuff. So this applied to his fists. Is Piranha Strike applied to fists? Because I don't think they're considered light weapons, right? He's so, um, used one hand, either of his one's hand. So, for primary melee attacks. Yeah. And unarmed strike is always considered a light weapon, so that works. So we could do piranha strikes. Our attack is mildly better if you can get it. But power attack doesn't apply to an offhand weapon, right? Power attack's not even here, though. Why is the power attack listed? Strength is too low. He needs to do 13 strength. He's not there. He's only 11 strength. So Piranha Strike is that. Uh, that's why that's showing up, more than likely. Yeah. Piranha? I don't see why not. I mean, he's using a great short... So I, I gave him a great sword to play around with. Because we don't have the hammers yet, we have to wait till we get back to town. Yeah, I think Piranha Strike will fit with the two-weapon fighting. Once we get to that point, at least. Okay, so yeah, don't worry about that. And we're throwing stuff in there. So back to the islands. So Money Island next. It has a light once he gets so well around level eight. Yeah, it comes up faster in this than it does anywhere else, so the light isn't that far away. I mean we won't see it today, but it's not that far away. An anchor right here. Why right here in this room? More bugs. Oh, and Ring now has the the hood look because of the Oracle stuff. We should prepare. Carefully. Our victory is certain. 
AC is off. It probably is awful. That's why you have the Mastodon. Yeah, Bat is playing with a great sword. Son of Run! That's the wrong person. It's supposed to be you. Uh, so I'm still like. That's why she's got good strength. And AC is 15, so yeah, it's not quite awful. It's pretty close, but not quite there. Should get rid of the great sword, but <laughs> forwards. Oh, I know she'll hit better with this. Or he, actually, it's a he. It's a he this time for Bata. Very unusual, but. Nice Miss Mastodom. So bad. Uh. So plus four to hit with that. Fist is plus six. Damage is three to eight versus three to two to twelve. So yeah, fists are better, unfortunately. Gotta love that grin. This will hurt! Don't hold back! Let's try this way. <laughs> Shit, screwed that up. Of course, I don't need extended range here now. A solid plan. Screwed that up as usual. Okay, no loot. Now there's a chest back here. Masterwork club. Masterwork two-bladed sword. Ooh. Oh, that's exotic though, isn't it? Twenty-five. Range. Let them come to us a little bit. I don't get to go again. That way. Oh wow, messed up. And us bugs. Spitter. This will hurt. Oof. Needs a seven, rolls a three. Bad I can't get in there. everywhere. Very devastating at this point in the game. Against the squishy stuff. No 
door? No door. Okay. That is not far. The road awaits. We will be victorious! Yeah, Bata doesn't have uh, the mutagens yet. Crazy fly. That. I forget you have that. One point. <laughs> Forwards. Dead bugs. In due time. Okay, that works. The door. I can see him through the door there. big fly? It was a big fly. They're demon inspired flies or whatever. Are they? I don't know. I don't know what the story is behind them. It's just a giant fly. We should move. A solid plan. Well, with the fist, so that was nice. So the piranha strike added two, so that'll work. Ow! Attack! Nice miss. Okay. in there. Enemy near. Damn it. You should have run. Well, damn. That's a room full of stuff. He's got energy resistance to acid. Nice. Because of the whole stone skin stuff, I guess. Aim carefully. Yay, all those ones. I think there's some demon or devil based off a of big. Big fly. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's a devil. I forget his name, though. This should do it. Go ring. Feels above? No, I don't think it, that's it. Was it peace? Was it? The Lord of Flies is the Lord of Lies. Maybe these be feels above. Hmm. It's been a while. Since I had to look that stuff up, so. This will hurt! Forwards? A trivial matter. Endurance. Completed. Cold iron sigh. All according to plan. Now that should technically work for batter, right? Sigh. Yep, he still gets two attacks. Oh, sorry. Yes, he does. So three to six. Oh, the size is only 1d4? Well, that sucks, but it is cold iron, so we'll hold on to that. Four reasons until he gets higher level. Logically, yeah, spells Bob was the Lord of Flies and the ancient equivalent of the devil in some religion that I can't recall. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's funny how the when you go into the monster manual for Dungeons and Dragons, the listing of all the devils are basically just all the different names for Satan. <laughs> and they just come from different mythologies. Of course, it's funny how Satan isn't concluded in the monster manual, but all his different names are. Or at least the other names he's known as. Tom Cruise, yes, Tom Cruise is Satan, yes. Mythos smoothie, yep. It has a devil fashion after flies, it's more of a demon thing. Interesting. Oh, I think that. Aren't your legs getting spider. stiff? You haven't three. moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it. You I ignorant meatbag. Okay. Solid plan. Devil and demons, but they're different to die. They're different to Pathfinder? What do you mean, separates? They separate them the same way. They live in different planes, they've got different alignments. But they're basically the same thing, as far as I know. I'm, but I don't. I, I'm only basing this off what I've seen in this game. They seem to differentiate them the same way. Cannot find it in your third edition monster manual. I know, you know, I know the fly one. I think is. I think it's Beelzebub. Beelzebub, whatever his name is. I'm pretty sure he's an advanced D and Pretty sure I got him in the monster manual there. There were some differences between devils and demons, demons, but I don't really remember either. Oh, there's differences. It's their alignments and the the plane that they live on. Like it, it's just like Pathfinder. Devils live in hell, and demons live in the abyss. It's basically the same differences. Yes, devils are lawful evil, demons are chaotic evil. Yeah, they're chaotic. And then you have the daemons, the D-A-E-M-N-O-Ns. Those are the neutral evil ones, which I don't think... I think they don't show up until the, the Fiend Folio. 
they don't, I don't think they're in the Monster Manual. I think those are in the Fiend Folio. They weren't originally in Dungeons and Dragons at the very beginning. Kaloxes for um, you find them here in Route Two. They're in the Humanoids with fly heads. Right, those guys. But the, we're not talking about them. We're actually talking about a Demon Lord or a Devil. Devil Lord. <laughs> what do they call it? What are the devils? I mean, it's Demon Lord and Devils are. Arch Devils, I think, is what they go under. Above, there's a cherub with a fly thorax, so no idea what that is. Yes, Mount Matt Damon. Matt Damon is really a creature of the abyss or something. Arch Devils, there we go. To get my uh, monster manual for an advanced Dungeons and Dragons one of these days. So we can get over the stuff from where it used to be like. That was the opposite of angels, and they have arch devils as opposed to archangels, right? I think it's uh, what angels and divas are lawful good. And I can't I can't remember the the angels and their little co their co conspirators there. Archdevil called Beelzebub. Obviously based on you're right. Yeah. So that looks you know. Familiar enough. Wonder why they changed the name. As it should be. We should prepare. Aim carefully. Yay, miss. Only the one, huh? Oh, wait a minute. That's bad. Huh? Now, cry in the 80s? What about Dungeons and Dragons being about uh, worshipping the devil? <laughs> it was the early 80s to Spirit Horror. I think it was uh, somewhere around the 83, 84. Somewhere around there, I think is when it got really bad. It was it had a nice little combination with heavy metal too. Because of Ozzy doing the you know, biting off the heads of bats and shit. It all got lumped into one thing. There's a Tom Cruise movie about it, was there? Yep. D&D and rock and roll go together like butter and toast. Tom Hanks, not Tom Cruise. Tom Hanks, he did a movie? What movie did he do? What move? What movie was that? I don't remember that at all. Marjorie and whatever. Same difference. The TV movie. Mazes and Monsters. Oh. <laughs> Mazes and Monsters. <laughs> uh. Isn't there a Dungeons and Dragons movie coming out soon? Or has it come out already? And it looks horrible. I forget who's in it, but it looks horrible. As they usually do.
Tunnels and Trolls. Well, that was a game, Jeff. The Dungeons and Dragons movie was delayed, okay. That would explain why it's not out yet. This is a very small island, I think. This looks like a very small island. One in the late 90s, what, Dungeons & Dragons movie? Go ahead. Probably. They get done every couple of decades or so. Tabletop games have picked up in popularity recently, and Dungeons & Dragons, of course, is the most famous of them, so... It usually gets the movies. Something here. And they're usually horribly done. So bad they were entertaining because they were so bad. Uh, I don't even know if that's even close. I mean, they were just bad, bad. Observe the others. I don't think there's ever been a good Dungeons & Dragons movie. Come here, fly. A solid plan. Ah, oh, look, you're hiding back there. I mean, EOTD three. What's that, Jeff? It's like they were loosely inspired by and created by people who didn't play D&D. Typically, that's usually where it works. They're going off the hype, and that's why they get the movies get, uh, what is it, uh, approved to be made. It doesn't mean that the people involved really don't know what the hell they're doing. What's EOTD3? Evil of the Dead. Oh, a movie. Evil of the Dead. I don't think I've seen that one. Pretty sure I haven't. Come here, centipede. Oh, there's two of them. Let's try this way. Yeah, I don't think there's such material to make a Dungeon Dragons movie either. Other than a fantasy parody, they could make a movie based on these many very undeveloped universes and keep it about said universe, but otherwise. Attack. They could do D&D movies. There's plenty of material to work with. Because you've got... Yeah, and like, they're Hello, pretty everyone. open. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. Done. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Completed. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then That's click the Subscribe be. button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Ah, uh, no hook dammer. So that was Um... Evil Dead, so... Jeff's trying to confuse me. Okay, now we're done. Now we get to run back. All the way over here. So, as I was saying, Dungeons and Dragons, there's there's material there. I mean, there's universes to, to work with. There's Greyhawk, and there's... And the, the most famous ones are Greyhawk and Forgotten Realms. So, there's no reason why they can't make... I mean, you know that the the Dritz, Druden, whatever the fuck is the Dark Elf's name is, sorry, the language. You know, you know a movie like that could be made fairly easily. About the Dark Elves running around being the, you know, not a bad guy anymore. I don't know. Greyhawk is not famous. Well, within the D&D community it is. The Kryn there was a cartoon season for Kryn? No. Oh, that's right. They could do da Dragonlance, too. I forgot about Dragonlance. Dragonlance is bigger than Greyhawk. Well, I didn't... It's so much bigger that I totally forgot about Dragonlance. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ravenloft is bigger too. Well, I was just using them as examples, Jeff. I wasn't saying these were the ones they should pick. I'm just saying there's there's universe there's D and D universes out there that they could choose from. There's plenty of material. That's that's the point. There's plenty of material. You got you know Greyhawk, Ravenloft, Dragonlance, the uh, Spelljammer doesn't count. <laughs> yes, it got because you're a bunch of nerds. That's why bunch of nerds in here you know you're full you've got a room full of nerds when you're playing a Dungeons and Dragons inspired game and they're talking about Dungeons and Dragons that's not related to the game <laughs> uh, let's see Is that one we can make a star knife That's a finesse, finesse weapon, but it's not a monk weapon. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. I don't know why I'm doing this now. We're almost done with this expedition. Nerds here? Unthinkable. I know. They're better off making a Ravenloft movie and make references to D&D rather than just make a movie about D&D as an amorphous mechanic system that the RPG uses. Well, you know, if they would do, if they do anything that they would pick either Ravenloft or Dragonlance, any of those things, they would, you know, that would be, you know, Ravenloft, blah, blah, a Dungeons and Dragons movie. That's what they would do. You know, they wouldn't say this is... They would. It wouldn't be drag, Dungeons and Dragons, Ravenloft. It would be a, a, I, if they're smart. They would put. It would be like a little under tag. If they were smart. Of course, we know they're not. Because the under tag would that just putting Dungeons and Dragons on it would pull pull the nerds in to take a look at it, but call, not calling it, giving Dungeons and Dragons top billing would pull in other people. Just to take a look at it, see what it was. Cause especially a name like Ravenloft or even Dragonlance. You know, they would pull in people, I think, just by their titles alone. Other than a parody. You know, we don't want to talk about parodies. That's just... So Star, Star Knife is 1d4 too. Blah. So he gets two attacks with this fist, but if he does two weapons, he gets three attacks. Because this is a monk weapon, right? Huh. I'll have to give this a little try, just to see how it works. Yeah, he's got three attacks with two weapons already. We should take his backpack off, though. It is a light weapon, yeah, it is. Let me change that. Oh, this light turned off. Okay, so backpack off. Much better. Yes, the star knife is light. It's a light weapon. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. Yeah, it is light. It's there. Right hand side. Sigh and a glaive. It's a sigh and a star knife. We're gonna. It's an experiment, Bata. It's an experiment to see what happens. He's using the sigh in his right hand because it's classified as a monk weapon, so he gets two attacks with it. The star knife is not. So I think that's the qualification, right? Yeah, that's the qualification because monk weapon. Ta-da. Again, it's a it's a goof thing. Okay, so, um, next island. Okay, so, are we not done here? I thought we were. Uh, 
No, went to the wrong exit. Did he come in this way? Try this again. Anyway, happy Sunday, happy Monday. Dwarf Fortress on Tuesday, yay. <laughs> Dwarf Fortress on Tuesday. I wonder what that's actually gonna be like. Tailwinds. Oh, not tailwinds. We hate tailwinds. Um, what was that down there? It looked like a undead. That is not far. Ah, uh, elemental. The road awaits. Of course you missed. Why wouldn't we miss? Interesting. It's three damage. Totally safe, I'm sure. So, trap there off to the right. for outsider and smites good that's great because they're fiendish damage reduction zero except against good what that is down to 11 hit points we got to get to see these weapons in action though don't hold back <laughs> So that didn't work so well. Aim carefully. That was a horrible miss. Guess I should try the grease, huh? Or the sorry slick. See if that works. And tripped it. Good job, matched the dom. This will hurt. Or not. And your little friend coming in. Ow, that friggin' damage shield BS. Gotta drink a potion. Swarm all creatures in ten foot, one minute per level, or just one round. One minute per level. Did it work? Done one of them. Bad rolls. A calculated risk. Bad roll. Dodge. Oh, Freaking cold, freezing crap. You should have run. Forwards. 
Yay, water blast to the face. Okay, so, not a problem. And I misclicked. This should do it. And that's a bad roll. And six rolls of three, and could this happen? Bad it goes down because of the stupid cold thing. A solid plan. That's bad. I have like. I thought he took less uh, damage from cold and stuff. See bonus, no remember bravery charge. Larry blows. Traits. Energy resistance. Oh, it's only acid resistance. Bummer. That was cold too. Acid affinity. Has a spell with the acid descriptor of the spelling saving throw. Or sorry. The saving throw DC against it is increased by one. Stand up, be quiet. No mistakes. You have spells to heal. Oh, we haven't rested, so no you don't. Okay then. Done. Well, we haven't rested yet. After we check out this ch chest, I think we'll rest. So that uh, way... Oh, there's a Warhammer. That way a uh, ring will get spells for healing and that kind of stuff. That'll help. Especially because it's supposed to be the tougher island. So we'll rest here. And... I guess that's... It for everybody, I guess. Oh, some that be ring up here. Oh. Well, that's not good. Our oracle does not have the highest. Uh, oops. Oops. Is that all you can say? Yeah. That was really poorly done. Look at this. If we rest here, we're going to hit level 1 on Corruption. If the save isn't made. And it's DC 15, so got to roll at least a 10. So 50-50 chance for this to not go well for us. I think we are going to risk not doing that. That's stupid. There. Shield of Faith. Age armor. How long does this last? One hour per level. So bad I can take advantage of that. Ta -da. I shall not fail. Oh. How come she doesn't have her uh, thing on anymore? Okay, so no camping. Oh, and the Warhammer, see what that looks like. So the Warhammer is one-handed. 1d8 stuff. Damage is 1d8, so... So right now, the two light weapons are still better. Oh, he can punch with one fist and hit the Warhammer on the offhand. Hmm. 
Ah, Piranha, Piranha with not enough machine gun ammo. Da, da, da. Was killed by Uzio, so that's uh, number 11 on your bingo card. And we'll give you a free vote for winning. So go to your bingo cards, click a number, good luck. And then after that's done, we will get uh, the other vote that's waiting to happen, too. Okay, so this is a uh, different. And that's three to six. It's plus four plus four. Chances are better to hit here. How come he doesn't get two attacks with a fist? He gets two with a sigh, but not a fist. Yeah, I'll give this a try. See how it works. Try the Warhammer in his main hand. He doesn't get an off, he doesn't get a second attack from offhand though if he uses it in his main hand. Sigh or something that is offhand. Yeah. Aim carefully. That didn't kill that? Wow. Charge. Nice miss. So, bad. Bad. See, it's plus three, plus four. He's got a better chance. See, this one, he doesn't get that one. So, he got a plus six, plus five if he does it this way. That's his best chance to hit with this. This, this setup is the best way for him to hit stuff. I mean, yeah, he gets three attacks this way, but this one, it's a slightly better chance to hit. A little bit more damage, too. Punch is really hard with that hand. Why is it plus two? Oh, Piranha Strike. Oh, it's a masterwork, too. That's what helps. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Head elemental. Your brain's melting when you see. Wow, that really hurt. 1d6 plus 5. Wow, that is so nice. Forwards. Time to drink another potion. Not my field of expertise. Yes, it is. I have no use for this. Why not? Not my field of expertise. Oh, it's not your turn. It's Ring's turn. <laughs> it's not my fault that the game isn't selecting the right character. Wow, two whole points. That's Let's great. Try this way. This will hurt! Yeah, sh ring really shouldn't be there. It's okay. We won. Ready for anything. Two point heal off a of potion didn't help either. That'll be good enough for now, I guess. Check. 
chest. Done. There's something here. God, this room is full of them. Huh. It's a bunch of smalls, at least. Three of them. How is it only showing three when I see four? I have to go to defensive mode, I think, here. There's five. A solid plan. At least five so far. Okay, four. This will hurt. That hurt. This one up. Don't hold back. So he kicked it and strung the hammer and missed both. That was really good rolls. Game screwed me. Attack. See, game doesn't like me. He did a nine, rolled eight. And that one needs a twenty to hit him. Is he holding the hammer wrong? No, he's holding it right. He's holding it right. In his left hand, where he's supposed to be. A calculated risk. He was spinning. Oh, was he spinning it? Oh, didn't notice that. Yeah, it's not working quite right, is it? Roll the four. Aim carefully. Nice miss. This should do it. in the head face. This will hurt. Why can't you hit this one? He's right Don't there. Hold back. Forwards. Thunks. Let's try this way. Great rolls. Yeah, he's not swinging that hammer quite right. A solid plan. Ta -da. Okay, so I'll go ahead. Forgot about the trap. Ray of sickening. Totally forgot about the trap. Do anything. You failed your fortitude saving throw and it didn't do anything. The whole reason we set up there is because the trap was right there, didn't want to walk on it. So, so well, that plan went. As it should be.
to the debuff bar. I am oh. Sickened and press play. But it doesn't say anything right here. Shouldn't it say that she's sickened? Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know you're talking about it here. But shouldn't it say that she's sickened on her character sheet? <laughs> shouldn't it say it here? Because it usually says it there. <laughs> so I don't know why it's not there. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. Attack! Goodness. Good goodness. You should have run! So, that didn't go badly. Two hits, 15 damage, no problem. This will hurt. Why did she stop go so far forward there? Boss fight. Is this boss fight going to be against one of the top bingo players from last month? I hope so. They were so annoying. Oh, trip that one. Oh, you know, I forgot to do a bingo vote. So go to your bingo cards, click a number. Good luck. In due time. Oh shit. Watch each other. Oh shit. Oh crap. Ah, uh, did Tarkas beat you again? Or is this something worse? This is much worse. This is level 8 water elemental. This thing's gonna destroy us at 68 hit points. Uh... <laughs> oh, might be able to uh, slick it up though. Okay, it didn't work. Might get him coming through though. So where's the edge is the question. Where's the real edge? Is starting to show off her bloodlust. May her rage stifle or swiftly rid us of humanity. Well, that's what we're hoping for, isn't it? Wait a minute, no, that's not right. And Piranha with not a machine gun ammo killed by Uziel and Despirador. Unfortunately, we've already seen that one, so we have to wait for this vote to process and then we'll start up another one. And rolls a six. And out of range. Uh, so that means we actually have to back up a little bit, don't we? Five foot 
step backwards. And he fell. <laughs> of course, you backed up, and he, of course, fell. But that's okay, because that makes it a little bit easier for him to a hit. Solid it. plan. So, eight reduced because of reasons. Okay, now we have another vote to start, so go to your bingo cards, click a number, and good luck. Mm. He's so far away. A calculated risk. Yeah, I can hit him. One point of damage. Good job, Ryan. So, bat is on the edge there. Step back. Oops. You need to get up and step away from the computer. Attack! That was really bad. That was my fault. That was a mess. Okay, the ring needs to get the hell out of there. So, so what's this tactician do? So all the allies sent out on the caster get it. Remove from his feet. So what's the actual feet? Is shake it off. So plus one bonus on saving throws for each per such ally. Oh, so we should use that. No. So everybody gets a a save, a better save against stuff, maybe. Uh oh. Aim carefully. And Hurricane got bingo. So congratulations, back, or Hurricane. Welcome back. This is going so well. This should do it. <laughs> Forwards. So it's injured. Let's try this way. Bat swings. Step away. Bat is still in slick. Uh, we send the mastodon in. He's gonna get probably fail his saving throw too. Yeah. He fell. A solid plan. Some damage. Still only injured. This will hurt. <laughs> Needs the nine, rolls the four. Bada can stand up. Bada can't stand up. Oh, well, that was awfully nice that it went after her instead of Bada on the ground, so Attack. I think we're pretty screwed now. <sighs> Needs the eight, rolls the four. So if Ring stands, no, Ring can't stand up. He fell over again. Aim carefully. <sighs> this was not part of the plan. Forwards. Wow, so she just keeps taking damage. Ah, that's so stupid. Anyway. A solid plan. Come on. 
This is really, really stupid. It is stupid. <laughs> the good news is that the slickest makes him, him fall over and over again, but Ring just kept taking damage from the cold stuff, Attack. which is stupid. And Mastodon can't get closer because, you know, it'll fall over in the, in the mud. Although at this point, who cares? Now he's going to be take. He took more damage from the stupid... By hitting it. Oh, that's so dumb. The damage shield is way too strong for this level. You just click on top of the elemental. No, I didn't. Actually, I put the elemental was back here, and I put the slick in front of the elemental so we had to walk across it. Aim carefully. Actually, you know what? We can change this back to here and not have to worry about this anymore. We're gonna lose. Let's get the F up. Forward. I should put another slick down. Damn it. Ow. Oh, come on. I hate these things so much. The border is not what it says it is. We're, we're going to lose this because of the bullshit. So stupid. So friggin' stupid because the border is not what they say it is. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I don't care. This is stupid. That was so stupid. They need to fix that. So that when that little red ring says it's the border, that's what it should be. And that was not what it was. It does. The problem is you don't know how far it exactly expands. Or it actually goes beyond. It's so stupid. It's such an easy thing to do. Yet it, I don't understand why it's... Yeah. <sighs> hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? Just did. If not, you really should. Just did. So stupid. What a find. I don't think we found this last time. I don't think we found that last time. Aim carefully. This freezing stuff is crap, too. Damage shields at this level is so stupid. Let's try this way. Don't hold back. <sighs> A trivial task. Is that multiple size? It sure looked like it. Of course, we won't talk about how the camp. We can't really use it because the it's like a 50-50% chance that we're gonna it's gonna put us right into level one of the corruption stuff. 
which is retarded. I mean, it's so stupid. I mean, why? <laughs> why is it so harsh? I don't understand. Masterwork side. So, that's a cold iron. This is the masterworks. This is. Oh, actually. So that one's plus four, plus four, plus five. This one will be plus five, plus five, plus four. So, that's better. So, double side for Vata. So, give them three attacks. Still use the hammer if we want, but. Okay, this door again. This will be quick. So we get to go through this fight again. Forwards. Get warmed up for the next five. Oh, can't see him. Yes. A solid plan. Boss fight. Another boss fight already. I think you need to change the parameters of this boss fight bingo game. These boss fights are happening much too often and the bosses may not be getting paid fairly for the amount of work they are doing. Come here, water elementals. Strike! Oh, that's some awesome rolling. Ice rolls got so you should have run. badly so clear. These things just that much tougher. They're level two. This will hurt. Aim carefully. Needs a nine, rolls an eight. A calculated risk. And same difference. That's right, that's where the big bad guy is. He's over there. So this fight again. So how can we do it differently? This time we don't go in close to the slick. So our duty calls. This is one minute per level, so that'll be three minutes of this. Put it right on the edge so as to come across it. And let him come. Let him come down. And Spider with a Gauss rifle was killed by the Sparador, so that is number 17 on your bingo card. And because that was a win, free vote for everybody. Go to your bingo cards, click on a number you need, and the no number with the most votes is the number everybody gets. See, the problem is that it's reach. Because he's a large creature, he's got better reach than we do. That thing. Saving throw succeeded. Well, blast him. Forwards. It's a good hit. Is that a crit? It's regular. Two D six plus nine. Where's the plus nine from? Oh, elemental overflow. Because we got some burn going on. Zap. 
one point of damage. Kill zap. And so he just walked right on through it. And friggin' Bata got destroyed. Uh, critical hit with the slam. So, yeah. A solid plan. Okay, congratulations to Spiridor on getting the bingo. At least the Mastodon's got a decent armor class. No stuff left but be the MPP. Well, that's what we're hoping for. Attack! And Bat is out of the fight for real. Let's try this way. Bad dice rolls. Aim carefully. Bad dice rolls. This will hurt. Huh. Any trip because he's still on the edge of the slick there. It's bad dice rolls. A calculated risk. There we go. So it's still tripped. Solid plan. Yay, ones. Happy Wednesday. This should do it. Okay, why did it go after Ring? Attack. Why can't we roll over a two? Yes, you are, and you need to drink a potion. Because we don't have healing spells yet. Take the wrong person. So you need to fix that too. When the active person is, you know, active, it should go to their inventory, not somebody else's. Another trick. Aim carefully. Another miss. Another miss. Let's try this way. Forward. Come on. This will hurt. Plan. Come on, it's not that hard to roll a 10. <sighs> Running out of healing potions. A calculated risk. Hey, got a hit though. I used the wrong thing there. Should have been a five foot step away, but I forgot to do that. Aim carefully. And for some reason, Gimme can't roll over a ton. Let's try this way. Forward. Come on. So much for 50-50. This will hurt. Yay. Such crappy dice rolls, but finally. We should prepare. That was 
was horrible. horrible. And we got a save point too. Oh, like a recipe we won't probably use. Seasoned wings and thighs. Yummy. Now I'm hungry. So that should have been the boss for this level. Uh, let's see. So Bana's got to use this just because. Wow, seven all eight points. You're so screwed. Okay, so small ones. How many of them are there, though? Let us buy our time. A solid plan. Ah, the best of my abilities. So only one so far. Bada needs to hang back. Snuffleupagus goes up here. Bring me back there. Wait a minute, how is he down to one hit point? Didn't we just drink a potion that got him some extra health there? Like four? Why is he down to one? What happened? Heals for four. How did he take why is he down to one? He took no damage, yet he lost four hit points. Attack. <sighs> Whatever. A calculated risk. Five foot step backwards, get away from that without an attack of opportunity. They'd have a batter run in there and try to kill it. Do we need to? We don't need to. It's a risk we don't need to take at the moment because the Mastodon's taking, tanking pretty well. Aim carefully. Can't hit worth the damn, but. This should do it. Good in here? No. Oh, there's another boss too? You're sh this is whatever. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> well, at least it's only a human fighter. Only. Uh, so. The road awaits. You expecting traps? Well, might as well be a trap. No, he's he's the boss. He's the boss for this level. I thought the elemental was, but apparently this guy's the boss. And stay back there. I guess Ring could have zapped him. A janitor with water elemental cleanup true? That's what it looks like.
Ah, good roll. Well, this is a problem. He has a freaking crossbow. This is very bad. Points at. Okay, Bata. Feel lucky? Nope. Me neither. I see tripped. Of course. The friggin' edge. Wow, so he's... okay, whatever. Good roll. Strike! <gasps> nice team missed. Roll that one. Happy one's dead. Let's try this way. You should have run. An expected outcome. Oh, attacks of opportunity, yay. Oh, got so lucky there, I think. It's a horrible level. Okay, so stuff. Uh, that to the Mastodon. Dexterity 2. Um, Bata or Gimpy. We'll give it to Bata first for the extra armor class. Cloak of Resistance 1. We'll give that to Ring. It's supposed to be our healer. Hey Gimpy. You have streamed long enough. Not done yet. It is time to call it a day and get some rest. Be sure to tell everyone to have a great day or evening and we will see them again tomorrow. Also, make sure to remind them to hit the follow button and visit your YouTube channel. Okay, so whenever this have plus one heavy cross makes first attack during a round, it shoots two bolts at once. If both attacks hit, the target must make a fortitude saving throw. We're taking additional 2d6 cold damage and become staggered for one round. That's a really nice crossbow, but I don't know who's going to use it. You could give it to Bata. To start with. Shoot stuff as we get closer and go from there. Okay, so let's get the hell off this island. I hope. Just making sure there's nothing else up here. Like, you know, chests and whatever. Probably won't be, but... Oh, this is a miserable level. Oh. It seems, uh... Tougher than it should have been. <laughs> For I mean, it's, a, it's technically what the first expedition. I'm only level three. That's pretty harsh.
Of course, the main problem was we weren't able to rest because if we did, we were going to get hit with corruption, which again seems kind of odd so early in the game to get hit this right to level one, and we haven't even camped once yet. Because I don't think we did. Did we camp once? We might have camped once. Yeah, we camped once, but we did that on the ship, I thought. Or did we? No, we didn't camp because this is a new group. So I don't. I don't know why the corruption is so bad. Okay, so we should be back at Lucianera. And we do is here. We're just gonna go to the dock and call it a day, and because. We need to buy stuff and all this other fun stuff. It's going to take a little bit longer than a minute or two. So, and we got to level up too. So, game saved. We will start here next Sunday. Okay, so thank you all very much for coming out. Much appreciated. Yes, levels too. So, we level four. We got stuff to buy. Um, how much money do we have anyway? We got seven grand. So, we have another person to hire as well. Yeah, because we're going to pick up another person for three grand and go from there. So we'll have four people in the party. Oh, that was very smooth. So, so smooth. <laughs> the dice were not our friends. Plain and simple, the dice were not friendly. And then, again, the main issue with the, the stupid slicks is, or those type of spells in general, is the border is not what you think it is. It is not what it, you think it is. So anyway, stream schedule tomorrow, Monday, Cosmeteer, um, multiplayer co-op, multiplayer co-op with Hurricane and Sayod. Tuesday is Dwarf Fortress, yay. Wednesday is another new game coming out called D -D -D Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign. It's a grand strategy game, takes place in the Middle Ages, should be good. Knights are doing their best XCOM impression. They do it very well, <laughs> did it very well. Anyway, so that's Wednesday is, uh, again, Knights of Honor 2, Sovereign. Thursday is Valheim with Hurricane and Jeff. Friday is uh, my stint on the turn base Fest, where I'll be playing a Blades and, and Tails uh, for about an hour here. Actually, it'll be two hours total, but uh, for my my uh, my part of the, the turn base Fest, it's only for an hour, starting at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and 8 p.m. GMT. Again, that's on Friday of Blaze and Tails for an hour. We'll play for two. And then we'll switch over to Celasta multiplayer with Hobo, Jeff, and Hurricane. And then Saturday, we're back to uh, Star Sector with the next Selena Star Wars mods. And then next Sunday, back here to Wrath of the Righteous, where the first half of the stream is uh, campaign stuff. We can't be the Half Fork Demon Slayer Demon, which there's a good chance we're going to get into the threshold, the, the final dungeon of the, of the campaign. So we're almost done. And I don't think we'll finish it next uh, Sunday because we only have uh, four hours, but we might. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's the first half of the stream, and the second half of the stream, we'll be back here to, with the, or back to the Treasure of the Midnight Isles DLC with Viewer Group 3, who almost died. Well, they technically died, but the dice were bastards. So, anyway, that's uh, the stream for this get, or next week or so. And Banna's starting one more vote, so go to your bingo cards, click a number, Good luck, and hopefully somebody gets that before we call it a day. But anyway, that's the last vote of the day, so good luck. I gotta get going. <sighs> Tomorrow, stream starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT, for some more Cosmeteer co-op. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a great evening, great day. Wait, this Tuesday, Dwarf Fortress. Next Tuesday, Master of Magic, we got... Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it's right, we got uh, Master of Magic next Tuesday, a week away. It's going to be a fun couple of weeks. Need more time. Need more time. Anyway, as I was saying, tomorrow, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT for more Cosmeteer. Thank you all very much for watching. I know you have many other viewing choices here on Twitch, and I really do appreciate it when you choose to spend your time with me. So thank you very much. Have a great evening, great day, where you happen to be, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow.